a lot of people, especially healthcare workers, are putting their faith in the COVID-19 vaccine. Hello, Lance Max Hofer has the details. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Sophie. Now, over the past 10 months, many of us have been hoping and praying for a vaccine. Well, now that it's here, health co workers are still praying, this time that it can help shift the tide in this ongoing battle. As the Pfizer vaccine rolled into Avera Monday morning, so did a great deal of emotions for Vice President of Supply Chain, Sarah Henderson. It was just this, this overwhelming, almost a relief and a sense of hope that we are getting to this point where we can return to some sort of normal or at least keep these people protected. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought on many emotional moments over the course of this past year. But before medical staff opened the shipment, they took one more moment to gather together and pray. We pray this prayer. As I was standing there, it really was almost a sense of calm. It was a sense of, oh my gosh, we are here now. We're going to be looking forward. It was really a grace and gift from God. And so we wanted to acknowledge that first and foremost, just like when you sit down at a meal and you pray before the meal. The prayer was led by Sister Mary Thomas. She read scripture from the book of Ephesians, comparing the vaccine to donning the armor of God. I thought this would be something in it that would speak to what we are um, embracing and clothing ourselves with in this uh, vaccine. She also said a prayer for healthcare workers, those who took the vaccine, those who administered it, and those who got COVID-19. They were kind of our teachers, unfortunately, and some were able to live to tell the tale and others didn't, but we still honor all of them. She then blessed the vaccine with holy water as a symbol to cleanse us of the virus. And it's not just for this box, obviously, it's for every box all across the world. It's just a relief to, to see this potential end in sight, that we can get back to some sort of a normal. Injecting some hope in a time where, to some, it seemed lost. I am just forever grateful to all of the people who, um, you know, held the light in the darkness. They kept holding that light for each other. They kept supporting one another through the thick and thin. And I think we've become a better people now, Henderson goes on to say that there's still a ways to go before everyone who needs the vaccine can get it, but that this is a big step in the right direction.